do you want to work with branching and scenarios in Articulate Storyline? Keep watching, because in this video I'll explain how you can add branching in Articulate Storyline quickly using question slides. Hey, I'm Mark from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create learning modules in Articulate Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Ready? Let's go to work. Naturally, you want to keep your uh, student involved and uh, not to drop out while following your e-learning module. You can use scenarios and branching for this. But what is exactly branching in e-learning? Branching is an interactive form of learning. For example, your student will receive a question with different answer options. And each answer option leads the student to a different new question, like the branches of a tree. That's called, for that it's called branching. And you can easily combine branching with scenarios, where a student has made a decision about a problem. And based on the choice, the story goes on in a specific direction. The story unfolds in a unpre unpredictable ways, making such learning interaction fascinating and fun. Branching scenarios can be set up in a various ways in Articulate Storyline. And the easiest way to do this is with question slides. Now, in this example, I've created a new scene called Branching with three question slides. And it does not matter whether you use graded question slides or free from question slides here. You can use either one of, the, of them. And you can see uh, in the scene that the slides are not linked to each other because they are, are next to each other and there are, are no arrows from the from one slide to another. We will do the linking later. And when I'll go back to the story view, I will uh, save this one. You see that there are arrows running from slide 3.1 to uh, 3.2 and 3.3. Uh, and the trigger to jump uh, from slide 1 to, to slide 2 and to slide 3 is on the continuous button in the feedback pop-up. So I'll select slide 3.1 and open my uh, a feedback pop-up. And here you see the continue button. And when I, when I select it, you see that there's a... a an action when the timeline ends that says jump to 3.2 multiple choice and for the incorrect answer option there is an action that says jump to 3.3 when the timeline ends so that's uh, how branching is set in articulate storyline in the previous example you saw that there were uh, two branches one on the correct and one on the incorrect feedback going to different slides but how do you do that when a question slide, uh, with question slide where you have uh, more than two answer options and you want to create multiple branches, uh, for instance, a branch for each answer option. Now, this is also possible in Articulate Storyline. And I have already worked out an example for that and I will show you how it works. Uh, in my story view, I have seen that uh, where the first slide is the same as, the, uh, as in the uh, previous uh, example, but now you see that it links to three different uh, question slides. And it goes uh, depending on, on which answer a learner uh, gives. So I'll now show you how it's uh, set up with three answer options. Um, I will click on uh, slide 4.1 and I will go to the form view. And now you see uh, here uh, at the top that feedback is by choice and not by question. So now I have I don't have a correct and incorrect feedback, but I have a feedback that is uh, for answer option A, B, and C. And you see now that here are the more questions. So if I click on more, here I can say branch to the following. So for answer option A, it's 4.2, for B, 4.3, and for 4, 4.4. So. So uh, with this example, you, you can see that you can uh, branch in Articulate Storyline for a correct or incorrect feedback option 
or if you want to branch for uh, a specific answer option that it's also possible. And this was quick basics on how you can quickly um, set up branching with question slides in Articulate Storyline. I hope uh, that you like this video. Did you like this video? Don't forget to give a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get practical tips every week about creating e-learning modules with Articulate Storyline. Until the next video.